Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome to Hand of Fate 2. A game that is four years old, but nonetheless, it is the one-off game for the month. So I have played this before. I played it quite a bit, actually. It's uh, pretty dang good. And in fact, I got a sense of deja vu when this was suggested, and I was wondering if I'd actually played it uh, on the channel before. It turns out, well, I have, but the videos have been deleted because they're very old. Uh, but I have made a video talking about random chance at video games, which I'll link below, because hell, why not? It's old, but it's good. Um, but yeah, new game, and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. You get to... well, here's plot incoming. Your memories are fading even now. Gone form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. All right, so I'm gonna be a lady, because why not? So, this These is... These cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. So the steps into nothingness, because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. Okay, so, uh, this is basically like an action RPG of sorts, except not an ARPG, that's different. Uh, but yeah, there's cards and stuff. And this guy is sketchy as hell, but we have no choice but to sit in his carriage and play card games with him, so that's nice. Anywho, uh, forest ambush. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet. You finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing among themselves. And I'm going to move closer to eavesdrop. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry. You will soon understand the nuances. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just pick a card, see if we win. Yay, we won. Also kind of meta in how they're talking, the, how the game is improved, because this is a sequel. This is Hand of Fate 2, not Hand of Fate 1. 1 is different from 2, or so people tell me. Um, creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road, you push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab him, one retorts. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but drop a corpse on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you've even spent a coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet. Here they come. You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner, bringing their wares to market. The thieves fell the tree into the path that unsuspect farmers leap out, weapons brandished. Give us all your food. Uh, I'm gonna be a hero and leap to the farmer's defense. You draw your weapon with practice skill. I hope I remember how to play this. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. You chicken. And now comes the fighty fighty bit. This game actually looks pretty good for being from 2018. Thug. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade a standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Okay, so... Block break space... 
Uh, attack, defense, struggle, finisher, weapon ability. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember how to play this. Ouch. Ow! Yep. Ah! Yeah, I seem to recall that button mashing non-stop. Okay. I'm doing the finisher, why not? Why is it working? I was hitting F for finisher, but it wasn't doing it. Oh wait, no, that's not how it works. Never mind. I really have forgotten how to play this. Also, I'm almost dead. Actually not. The farmers fumble in their haversacks in gratitude. Thank you, adventurer. I'm sure that after they took our food, they would have taken our lives as well. Yay, food. Yay, food. You fall in the food with a sigh, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. You consume one food. Their leader must still have it. You set to your feet, determined to find him. So now we gotta walk around a bit. Whee! Friend in need. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin, dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. We must get this over with quickly if I have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from its shoulder. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag until his bulbous nose protrudes in the breach. A new plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. I'm going to take the axe, because I like the axe. Right, so, critical axe. Armor breaker. Bash. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, I like the axe. Yep, I will equip the warrior's axe. A wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. And we can change equipment in the inventory. Onward we go. Whee! Finding forest folk. This card has a token. Can you find it? Your journey through a forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for a lemon cake. As they dash off to peer under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Alright, just got to keep an eye on the... I'm just going to go for this one. Yay, we win. You follow the song through thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden. Her posture bent like the bows of a forest. It has been twelve winters since I last had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me when you are in need, adventurer. This is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Yay! Alright, let's go over here and beat up a thief. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, weapons drawn. Everyone will get their fair share, there's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever heard of a thief talk about fair share, spits one. You turn up and boss us around, we've barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed someone. Days! The leader notices you approaching and you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. 
Tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. Bells of a finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades to mug you. The leaders hurries away to hide. Okay, I've got to remember how all this works. Alright, so give us your stuff or we'll stab you up. Growls one of them. You consider options. Of course we're going to fight. Draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. Thieves evade heavy weapons more frequently. You can change equipment in inventory. I'm just going to be cool about it. Don't even worry. They can evade heavy weapons, but you can still hit them with it. So it's all okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this again. Come on, hit me again. There we go. I'm remembering that. Aha! Over you go, dick. Okay. Okay. Love the axe. Love it. Oh yeah, sometimes they do a double. <laughs> Groovy! It's coming back to me now. It has been a donkey's age since I played this. With the carnage resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. The name is Malaclops, bard extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands and surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really, they were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet. It does not look familiar. Oh, Malaclip says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel. So which one is yours? Uh, which one shall we do? Which, what are we feeling? I don't know what, let's be lion. The lion amulet. That suits you. Very similar facial structure. So you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. I love this guy. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life, Malakov <laughs> says. Tell me, where are you from? Alright, so here comes the character creator uh, part of this. Just because. Look at how friggin' ripped I am, it's awesome. Right. Also, don't mind the farty motorbike out there. Choose an appearance. What shall we do? I'm not particularly... F Let's go with this one. Let's choose a hairstyle. Shall we be completely bald or... Oh, that's nice. She's got big hair on the back. Completely bored. Let's go... Let's go big hair. Yes. Wait. Oh, colors. Wait, what was that one? I'm colorblind. That's probably fine. Yep. Oh, that's... Well, we can just change our mind, I guess. What's this? Choose an outfit color. Where's the one that's black and white? Because that's the one I want. I think we can actually unlock more outfit colors later, but... Yeah, let's go... Um...
Let's go with this one. Finish. I have the best hair. I don't care what you say. It is the best hair. Okay. From Clearwater, eh? You don't say? Good source from Clearwater. Very trusting. Oh, you would like that, wouldn't you? Oh, by the way, I, I mean we, friend, owe money to Vignus of the Thieves' Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Myerbridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Malakup's eyes a pretty trader hiking up the road. So, it'd be best if you get the gold, and I meet you there. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, well, I guess we carry on for a little bit until... Well, let's keep going until we die, because that this is a roguelite, uh, for anyone who doesn't know. Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into fragments. Collect enough... And your reward will come in time. Yeah. You enter a competition of strength and affair. A gold prize is available to the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling troop of acrobats. Okay, so we've got to roll These the dice. dice. Are another small game embedded in our game? Yay! Ten. We win. Victory. You are learning. Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed backflip off the table and collects his meager winnings, then cartwheels out the door. I love that. Disappointed backflip. Who backflips when they're disappointed? Yay. You take the reward from the purser on the way out the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Neat. Alright, let's, um... Let's go here. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. While crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. You could stand and fight the fiends, or throw yourself to the mercy of the river below. I'm gonna fight. Because I need practice fighting. And I think I need to hit them over the head a lot with my big stick. Oh yeah, there's zombies in this game. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they can recover. You got it. I... I actually love the character design in this. Also, I just love two-handed axes. I'm not sure if that came across. Having spilled your enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Yay! Armor again. Uh, nope, I don't want to equip that. I also gained three food. That's nice. Whee! The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power, despite their promises of the opposite. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Alright, let's try and assist. Dog is 12. Whee! Yay! Wow, just made it. Thank you, the woman says as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Yay, gold! And food! You thank the woman and continue on your way. Off we go. Whee! Celebration Carnival. in aid of what? You see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Here in the sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. 
Much of the activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone lizardman. That's a reference to the first game. Lizardmen were a common feature in there. Also, that's, uh, I think, what is it? It's like the King of Scales was when I stopped playing the first game because that bastard is just way too hard. Uh, let's ask a local. A friendly stable hand explains, in a bygone age, our town was beset by half-men, half-lizards. There was no food, no respite, and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beasts for little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold, and we take turns smashing it to bits with a club. You're welcome to join us, and you may keep whatever falls out. Oh, cool. Alright, let's follow the parade then. And take turns so smashing the, the parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you'd like a turn. Um, yeah, sure, let's join in. I'm just gonna go here. Huge success! You bring the club down with a thunderous crack that silences the crowd. As the statue splits open, they erupt into a boisterous roar. Coins and sweets flow freely from the huge cavity you created. Whee! You serve the spoils and try and scoop them up before anyone else can. Alright. I'm gonna go here again. Yay, gold. We have money. Would you like to try- Nah. Leave the town celebrations with whatever you get it. And let's go over here. here Dead drop. Come to the end of the beginning. Running errands for Mavis. This will become a theme, I dare say. You arrive at Mirebridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Malaclips perusing a selection of cheeses by the market. Ah, if it isn't my good friend the adventurer. Did you bring the gold? Vigdus has arranged to meet at the graveyard. Let's, uh, let's keep exploring. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the graveyard. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or for easy body disposal. Vignus greets Malaclaps with a sly grin. Looks like you turned up after all, and with a lackey in tow. We had our doubts, you know. Vignus cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, Malaclaps, convince me. What's to stop me cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malaclaps scrounges in his pockets for some too. The heavy satchel riches lands at Vignus' seat with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. That's our deal done, Malaclaps says, worry obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal, Vignus grins. You should have known that the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from my members in the first place. Of course. Well... Right, so the Anarchist basically chucks Molotov cocktails. Not a problem, don't even worry about it. Vignus the Crazed. Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchists flow, throw flaming bombs that cause fire damage, your armor is of no use to here. News to you here. I don't think I even have any armor. Remember they threw more. Okay, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, I really need to. Whoops. Okay. Okay, let's go beat up this guy.
Okay, just gotta remember to keep evading. Yep, super good camera angle. Oh, damn. He got effed up. That was cool. Malaclips scratches his chin thoughtfully. It seems you could do with someone savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like, maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. We friggin' won, dude! Well done. You have cleared the first challenge. And now we can move on to the next. Cardinal Blade. And Bastion of Purification. And Market Thief. Like, all these cards are event cards and stuff. Fork in the Road. And Arm Pressing, the next one. For befriending Malaclips. Malaclips' problem. And the Trickster. And let us reveal the next thing. Shadow Beast have entered the realm. A friend in need, a fiend in need, and the peasant's son. Alright, and one more. Music's pretty good for finding the forest folk. The old maiden. There she is. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to go extra long. I'm going to... We've done the fool. Now, let's do the magician. Campaign. What's adventure? Adventure. I can't do anything. Endless. is not unlocked yet. Right, so let's go Nothing do the magician. Incidents. The answer to every question is in the cards, if you but look. Alrighty, so... Alright, rescue the missing Empire soldiers from a town played with corruption. Growing scourge, prepare to fight corrupted, and avoid Empire. We lose gold for every Empire killed, so Imperial soldier. Okay, so we've got our companion, uh, Malakwips. Encounters, let's pick some. Okay, let's go over here, let's... Alright, so, deep water, old maiden, because that's good, and arm wrestling, and let's have Alex's problem, and let's have the fork in the road. Let's continue, and equipment, warrior's axe, do want that, and, right, so we haven't found that yet, so, well, I guess this is all the equipment we have, so... Continue and da, 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 and let's begin. A casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? For one hundred years, I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated. It is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Alright, your conversation with a fur trader is interrupted as Malaclips arrives in a flurry. The whispers speak of trouble at the edge of the Empire. The town of Westwind is suffering against the blight. Let's... what's... what's Westwind? What do you want to know? Uh, where is Westwind? Westwind sits on the outer edge of the Empire. While the Emperor focuses on the capital, its nobles and merchants, those at the fringes are neglected. What makes Westwind special? I've traveled far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Westwind gave me my freedom, and I intend to return the favor. Oh, Malakleps isn't entirely crap. Ask about Empire protection. A small garrison is meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they are all either dead, missing, or drunk. How about dead drunk? That's enough for now. Let's go that way. You return to the market to, and ask if any traders heading headed to Westwind might need an escort. There are three options. Um, 
Ah, uh, yeah, so I think this one gets us gold, that one gets us food, that one gets us a weapon. I want me axe. Your engine and comfortable ride jammed in among the many tools of a weaponsmith headed far west. Bollocks. Like a compass, it indicates the truth of all directions. Okay. Alrighty. Da 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 da. Can reposte. Boop boop boo. And bash cools additional damage to armor. One handed. Boop boop boo. Well, okay, yeah, let's equip that. You arrive at the town of Westwind. To defend the town, you will need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. Well, let's go off. Let us Arm wrestling. What sort you are. Strong. Clever. Wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. Okay, so it's the arm wrestling thing again. Uh, in the second round of the competition, you sit opposite the aged frame of Huntley Toothless. He boasts about once being a silencer for the Thieves Guild. So the target is 12. Whee! Bollocks. Choose which dice to re-roll. Re-roll that one. Please be high. Yay, we did it. Huntley crumples in defeat almost instantly. You're lucky I'm not 20 or 30 years younger, he says, grumbling. Yay, we got money. Yay, we got money. You take your reward from the purser on your way out the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a large prize. Whee! Age turns us all. She has done rather better than I in the time that has passed. Okay, so walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? I need food, yes. Free food. This should sustain you for a few days, she says, squinting at you with tired eyes. Yay! Yeah, you can upgrade that card later and then it's amazing. Whee! The Empire reaches too far. The North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. Alright, so you find some Imperial soldiers strung up by Northerners. Let's fight to free them, because I'm cheap. You ready your weapon? Let us see if the mage can help you here. Right, so we do have a companion, which is very nice. Okay, Malaclops, a magician, a jester, and a vagabond. When activated, Malaclops casts a protective spell on you that can block a single hit. That's incredibly useful. Ara's companion. If you... nothing else, I'll get a thing out of this. <laughs> so Northerners are actually one of the easier things to fight. Shrek'd. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Did he have two helmets? No, no, he just fell on his friend's helmet. Serves him right. Alright, we gain equipment. Yay! In more ways than one. Okay, so against corrupted, uh, defend causes 30% of your weapon damage to attackers, and it's a heavy shield. And. Uh, okay, so. Very nice, I will take that. And we got food. You free the soldiers, we're getting two recruits. Whee! Commerce General store. In even the most unusual of locations. Right, so let's sell some stuff. I can't sell some stuff. And let us, can I buy stuff? Should I go with the axe? I do like the axe, but nah, let's roll with what we've got. What's this? Now nah, let's buy food. We're just gonna buy food. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna buy all the food. There we go. Yeah, because uh, you need that. You very much need that. 
and leave and we here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge as you will see the west wind tower bell chimes feverishly the town crier bellows this corrupted inside the town they broke through the sewers and into laos lane our brave soldiers have gone down there to sort it out you find arrived to find westwind's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance to its uh, poorest area laos lane we cannot let the corruption f spread for the good of the town we must dispose of anyone who has been tainted even a little let's join the soldiers Join in the fight against the corrupted. Let's go. Thankfully, I have a shield, which is great for this. Oh yeah, it does tend to. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna see it. Prepared for violence in every major. <laughs> in every major direction. You got it. Not gonna lie, that's pretty dope. Okay, yep, that was easy. Just <laughs> dead zombies. I'm having fun. I'm not sure if you noticed that. With the corrupted threat removed, you've ensured that these soldiers survive to aid the town's defense. You gain three recruits. The soldiers help you scavenge what you can for the remains of the poor souls taken by the corruption. Armory gain. Equipment. Uh, do I want to equip the shield? No. Or do I? Uh, you know what? Um, I do want to unlock that token, so I am going to equip the shield. I got some food. All right, let us go around in a big circle. They got themselves into this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Well, it's the victory objective, you muggins. All right, let's ready a weapon. Let's go. We. Now we get to see what these guys are up. Raider, from the frozen darkness of the far north they come. Northerners can perform combo attacks. Use riposte with single-handed weapons to deal extra damage immediately after you defend. I hope this works. Wow, we messed him up. He was inside out and twisted up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Armor again. Oh, which one do I want? I'll take the warrior's axe. I might need it. Would I like to equip the warrior's axe? Not right now. But I will later. With the northerners dead, you free the soldiers. Gain two recruits. Whee! In your life you will have wandered endless intersections yet this one sticks with you why what is it in your memory that catches here all right look. you arrive at a signpost detailing the possible path east and west except that's just east general store 
Well, let's sell some stuff that uh, we don't need, so... I put that... Back, and... Back, okay, so this one doesn't have a token, so I'm gonna sell that. Oh, okay, and I'm not using this, so I'm gonna sell that too. And back, and... What can I buy here? Absolutely nothing. So instead, I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy food. I'm gonna buy three food. Because you never know. And I'm gonna buy three food again. So now I'm good for food. And leave and last stand. What's this? Now your chance presents itself. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. What noble traits you display already. Atop Westman Town Hall is a large bell tower. It's used to signal the day's end for the workers and the mines in the surrounding fields. But now it will summon Westman's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you've recruited? Nope. Searching for more recruits. For now. A vampire cannot cross running water. These days you must deal with far more mundane opposition. While crossing a strong bit. Okay, so it's this again. Yep, hell yeah, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna. I'm going to kick some tushy. Some tushy, I say. The Amaliclips does make things a lot easier simply because, you know, one free hit on you. Right, so this is the shield. Shield. When skies are darkened by your enemy's volleys, fight in the shade of this personal wooden bulwark. Okay, so I gotta keep an eye on everything. Do you do do do? Ouch! Okay, we did it. We did get hit in the head once, but yeah. I don't want to say that this game is hard to control, but it's certainly not the kind of game I'm used to. You spilled the enemy's blood, you search the bodies for anything useful. Yay! Health tonic, health potion, and money. Let's go here. They Stranded place noble. themselves in these dire positions. And then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and an unmistakable groaner corrupted. Your, investiga your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods. I was heading to tea with the Duke Gilbert when we were ambushed. My footman left me here to fight them off, but the brawl has now dispersed into the forest. The noble peers fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. Nope, I'm gonna go help your boys out. You rush in the forest and quickly encounter a squad of Empire soldiers battling the corrupted. Hopefully we actually keep them. For stabbing. Zombies. Ow! Stupid move queuing. Oh, 
Well, that accomplished nothing. There we go. Nailed it. Did the soldiers survive? <laughs> Armor again. Um, I'll go with that. No. Health potion. Although the corrupted has been vanquished. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a complete waste of time. Your companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Malaclips's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merc, Malaclips calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favour to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. Malaclips looks at you expectantly. Give the goblin man ten gold. Yes, let's just do it. Malaclips steps forward as Merc counts the coin. Merc, old bean. The bard looks furtively around before quickly waving it at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malcolm's for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You sputter indignantly. I will require a test of skill from her. He turns and points at you. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. Malcolm nods as if there was a fair request. I don't remember which one is... I'm going to eat... Eat the one that glows in the dark. That's a good idea. The flower is a crispy burnt texture. And we Yep, that's not gonna work very well. I think I'm gonna fail miserably. Yep, failed miserably. The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. You feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck and you collapse to the floor. Uh, you wake to Malaclep smashing you with water. Merc has left, and you see him attempting to steal a seed bun from the baker stall. We'll come back later and try again. Okay, so uh, maybe I shouldn't eat that flower. I should eat a different one. Anyway, we've got seven dudes. Another chance to redeem yourself. Let's see how you handle it this time. This is the first time I've tried it, you goober. Uh, let's ring the bell. As night cloaks westward, you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. You survey any soldiers you've managed to recruit. You have gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's hoping you won't need any more. You must survive till morning when Imperial reinforcements will arrive. Let's give a rousing speech. Oh. We might fail miserably. I think it's that one. Shh, crap. Okay. The soldiers appear unmoved by your words and remain tense and fearful. Blarg. I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Damn it. Why am I never inspiring when the zombies come? Terror of Westwind. As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the terror wakes. Use Bash to break the terror's corrupted armor and then defeat it with a finisher before it regenerates. Nope, that way, stupid. So, uh, we apparently are running out of dudes. Just gotta hit him a bunch. Bam. 
bang, 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 bang. I don't think this does anything, but it's okay. Yay! I stabbed him! Did you see me, Ma? I stabbed him! Beautiful! A mighty hey. creature of chaos felled by your power. Does it satisfy you, this bloodshed? Knowing yeah. those you destroy were once simple peasants going about their day. Actually, yes, it does satisfy me a lot. I'm incredibly satisfied. Anyway, once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a town already saved. We friggin' won! The magician returns to the deck, but now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. Now you have learned the simplest of ways to build your deck. Each challenge will provide its own unique trials. Here are some more tools to keep you in good stead. Alright, so we've got Ruby Ring, Valiant Igus, Winter's Bane. Oh, I think that's actually a really good sword. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else there. Man-Eating Tree, Gnomish Exchange, Lost Boy, Pauper Plague, Westwind Tavern. Groovy! As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Okay, so I reckon that'll do for this, I guess, rather, old, rather out of date taste of Hand of Fate 2. If you haven't picked up this game, I can recommend it. Uh, I've never finished it, by the way, because, you know, it gets hard. Like, if you don't like difficult games, you probably won't like this, because it does get a lot harder. Uh, but, it is pretty good, and the story is actually kind of interesting, and it looks pretty, and the music's good, and the sound's good, and the combat's alright, and, uh, yeah. I have a sweet mohawk in this game, apparently. So, uh, that'll do for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in whatever game comes next. Do let me know if you want to see more of this, because I don't mind playing more of it. It's a pretty good game. Good for live streaming, probably, too. Farewell!